you visiting Walt Disney World soon? Or do you just want to be prepared for your next trip? Well, you have come to the right place. Here at the American Hut, we want to make sure your trip to the most magical place on Earth is, well, the most magical vacation. So coming up is 10 tips for Walt Disney World. Hi everyone, I'm Gary Daniels, Vice President of Digital Experience for Disney Parks. Thank you for spending your day with us as we share a new experience coming to Walt Disney World and Disneyland theme parks this fall. As some of you may know, the old free Fast Pass Plus service has been replaced by the paid Genie Plus and Lightning Lane service. These can save you a ton of time. But we do not recommend buying this every day or at every park. You can still have a productive and fun day at the park without Genie Plus and Lightning Lane. We would recommend basing your reservations off how busy the park is during the day. Sometimes some big attractions can become quieter during shows, parades, and fireworks. It is worth keeping your eye on wait times during the day. For the main attractions you are wanting to ride, this means you can save money instead of purchasing Genie Plus and Lightning Lane straight away on the morning. Sometimes rides temporarily break down and if you catch them as they are reopening you can sometimes get straight to the front of the line. This new service has permanently replaced the old Fast Pass Plus service, which in our opinion was much better. But it will be interesting to see if Disney makes any tweaks this summer. One of the most common complaints currently is that you can't make a reservation for a ride 60 days in advance like Fast Pass Plus. Instead, the reservations can be made from 7 a.m. on the day. This technology takes more than Our next tip may sound funny, but it is actually true. When visiting Walt Disney World, do not visit the Magic Kingdom on a Monday. Instead, save it for the middle of the week when the crowds are lower. This is because on Mondays there are still people visiting the parks from their weekend vacations. The Magic Kingdom is actually the most popular park for guests to visit. So when planning your vacation, try and put Magic Kingdom on a Wednesday or Thursday where crowds will be lower. Um, you're going to go to the Disney World homepage, and then on the My Disney Experience tab, choose this Disney Park Pass system link, which is new. Our next tip is about purchasing tickets in advance, which is something we highly suggest. Besides saving money, purchasing tickets in advance also has another benefit. This is because since the pandemic, Disney has introduced Park Pass reservations. This is where each party is required to make a reservation for the park they are visiting on the day. For example, if you are planning on visiting Epcot on your first day, you will need to have a park reservation to enter. However, after 2 p.m. you can then park hop around to the different parks. Another reason for purchasing tickets in advance is you can also purchase tickets which come preloaded with Genie Plus. This will save you another step from the process of getting set up for the parks. This may sound daunting, but the whole process is simple to do. You always have support from Disney cast members or Disney customer services over the phone who are happy to guide you through the process. The magic is calling you to a celebration 50 years in the making. Feel the magic everywhere. Share the wonder of new unbelievable sights. Walt Disney World's 50th celebrations have been running since October 2021. But there is no need to rush. This is because the world's most magical celebration is now underway until April 2023. Most of the entertainment and other major additions will also stick around well beyond April 2023. This means there is no rush to visit. Speaking of Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary, 
Disney's Beacons of Magic is a short light show where the theme park icons are transformed into beacons of magic, beckoning all to come and celebrate. Disney launched the Beacons of Magic at the start of the 50th anniversary, although some of these beacons have been seen as overrated and underwhelming by guests. Most of the Beacons of Magic are a very short light show, which is projected onto the theme park icons. However, do not miss the show on Spaceship Earth. This is truly one highlight of the whole celebration, and it is also a permanent addition, meaning you do not need to rush as this stunning show will be sticking around for the foreseeable future. Kongalush Adventures, welcome back to TMR Tours. Today we are going to learn about a Disney World freebie and see some magic. This is Magical Vacation Planning Celebration Buttons. Over at the Magic Kingdom inside the Chamber of Commerce in Main Street Square, you can pick up all kinds of various celebration buttons. So no matter what you are celebrating, you will find the perfect button for you or your group. If you are celebrating a special occasion, make sure you pick up a button reflecting your celebration at your resort hotel or in the parks from guest services. You may even receive special treatment if you are wearing your button during your stay at the parks and resort. So it is definitely worth picking one up. It is also worth mentioning they are free and available to anyone. They have a special button for you. And another thing, they're all customizable. So just take a Sharpie and you can make it personal just for you or your loved one. Tip number seven, do you enjoy walking or hate waiting around for transportation? Well, a sidewalk runs between Disney's Hollywood Studios and Epcot and all the resorts in between. Walking between the two parks takes around 30 minutes but can often be faster than other transportation between the two parks. The sidewalk can be found by exiting the park at the International Gateway entrance and walking down towards Disney's boardwalk, and the path can be found just past Jelly Roll's bar. If you are looking to increase your step count, maybe consider walking between Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Matthew here, we're back at the Orlando International Premium Outlet Mall and we're gonna go ahead and take a look inside the Disney Character Warehouse. There's so many great deals going on right now with all the uh, holiday and Halloween merchandise and I think there might be a few other really fun pieces that we can find inside of there as well. Tip number eight, during your stay you're obviously going to want to buy merchandise. However, if you can visit the Disney's Character Warehouse, you can save heavily on discounted Disney Parks merchandise. There are two locations, one at the Orlando International Premium Outlets and another at Orlando Vineland Premium Outlets. Both of these locations feature heavily discounted merchandise from the Disney Parks. I have the Run Disney Marathon Weekend Magic Fan. These are going to be $20.99. They were $40. And here's what they look like. They've got our favorite Disney runners on them. Very cool. They only made 3,000 of these, so this is pretty much all they have left from what I recall. Tip number nine. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is the newest attraction at Walt Disney World and is one of the most popular. To minimize your wait time jump in line when everyone else is staking out a spot for Harmonious, Epcot's nighttime spectacular this happens about 45 minutes before the showtime, so if you plan on skipping the nighttime spectacular, try and jump in queue just before this show starts, as wait times dramatically reduce as the majority of the park will be watching the nighttime display. Harmonious is also a show you cannot miss during your visit, but if you prefer to go on attractions this is your best time. 
Disney College program. Tip number 10. PhotoPass cast members will actually take your photo for free. If you ask a PhotoPass cast member, they will take a photo of you for free using your phone. This is great for getting family photos with everyone in and in the most popular and best locations. We're standing side by side and we'll also do like group hugs and we'll try to do a bunch of different creative shots for our guests so they're not just getting that just standing there picture. Bonus tip, Big Thunder Mountain and Expedition Everest are both much better at night. Both attractions have a spectacular lighting package which really makes the attractions come alive. At night the attractions feel faster and more surprising making both of these attractions more exciting during the night. But even during the day both these attractions are outstanding. So next time you're at Walt Disney World why not try both of these attractions after dark? <laughs> Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more. We will be doing more top 10 videos most weeks. And if you haven't already, please check out our online shop where we sell American resort and theme park inspired scents. Thank you and see you real soon.